Hi everybody, welcome to Jana's Crochet Journey. Today is Saturday, January 20th, 2024. Uh, I'd like to say, hey, what's up? I know it's been a little bit, but as you all know from my community tab, I ended up selling my house and moving and holy moly, what? A crazy time as you can see my shelves are empty right now and I don't even have all of them set up in the area but I'm working on it it's just been crazy um, I kind of realized with packing and moving that I had a lot of yarn Wow and I ended up like um, selling some, donating some, uh, just making, you know, decisions on the yarns. Like, am I really going to use it or, you know, is it something that I'm just hanging on to, to say that I have. So I downsized quite a bit now to people who aren't crocheters, as we all know, <laughs> they still think I have lots of yarn and that's okay. I'm all good with it. Um, but I did really think hard about what I wanted to keep, you know, like the uh, thinner yarns, um, stuff like that. Like. I, I knew I was never going to use and just because it was pretty, you know, I decided it just had to go because there's no sense in taking up valuable real estate on my shelves and in the two closets that I had, you know, if I'm never going to use it, that's just silly. So, um, I was thinking I would just come on here and try to update everybody, um, you know, I've been working on one project the most when I do have time. I have not been crocheting anywhere near um, the time that I used to, which is okay. It's just a different time in my life right now, and I'm okay with it. Um, over to this way, where you can't see, I have a lot of my boxes stacked to where I need to go through and organize um, my yarn and figure out what I exactly want to have on the shelves. I know like my big twist is my go-to, so those yarns will be coming out for sure. My cakes, um, again, in my other craft room, I had eight of these shelves and I have four for right now. The other four are in storage, which will eventually come here and I'll be able to get things a little more situated. But when I was going through and packing and deciding what to keep, which I should have done a video. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I guess just too much on my mind and you know, the process of it all. Um, but I have a box with project bags in it. I didn't even look in the bags. I just threw them all in a box and, you know, was figuring, okay, that something I'll go through at a later time. So if you all remember, I have um, been working on the spiritual flow mosaic blanket. I have, oh, 15 rows left maybe and that section will be done that I started gosh I don't even know if I showed it in my last video which my last video was like two months ago and I holy crow I can't believe how time flies when you're going through like a big process like that but I just wanted to come on today to 
you know, let all my crafty, yarny friends know that I'm still here. And I appreciate people who have reached out to me and just seeing how things were going and letting me know, you know, you're going to still be here when I get back on. And I just, I appreciate it um, 100%. So for today, I think I'll go start to go through some of my um, project bags to see what's in there. I really hate frogging projects because I feel like, you know, you start something, you need to finish it. And so I'm not sure. Um, so anyways, depending how long the video goes is how many um, projects I'll get through and decide if I'm going to keep up with it or order a priority, you know, and then, you know, you lose the ump for a project if it's a big one. So maybe I'll look through my patterns and see if there's any smaller projects that I can get that satisfaction of completing a project in. Um, but I don't want to do something just to do it. I want it to have a purpose or a use. Uh, you know, so we'll see. So in this first bag, it's my gnome bag, I have these squares which are finished and I know this is a project from Creative Grandma. And I have a spot where I have all the patterns that I'm working on because I didn't want to stuff them into my project bags. And what I did was, um, so I have my scissors, I have my hook, I have the yarns. This is what the squares will end up looking like when they are complete. And I've been taking them in steps of colors, like an assembly line, because then, you know, it helps it go faster. But so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, plus that is eighteen. And I think. There's more that you have to make, but in a different order. Again, I haven't looked at this in months, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but the colors so far is uh, one pound Karen, and this is the color Ocean. That's the one color. Then I have Big Twist Sapphire, and I am using uh, Big Twist Teal. So those are the colors that are in that project, and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. So that is definitely one that I'm going to finish. And maybe, seeing that those are squares, I might find the pattern and keep going with it because I think it'll be a faster project to get done, especially taking it in the assembly line. So definitely a keeper on that. All right, then, this is a blanket I started with a bunch of scraps of yellow, white, and black. And again, I can't remember the pattern, but I will look it up. I want to say, it says a rectangle granny. 
I'm pretty much and I'm not following any color pattern it's just whenever I feel like changing colors I will because I have a bunch of like uh, scrap balls in these colors and I'm gonna assume I'm using a six millimeter because that seemed to have been my go-to so once I find a notebook that I have with all of my uh, details of each project then I'll know a little better and let's see in this bag with a bunch of balls of yarn hmm I have six cakes candy stripe in the color Jolly Rancher love that color and oh there's a hook 5.5 so I had a plan for this and cakes are my favorite so I'm going to leave it in here until I figure out what I was gonna do with it all right in this bag what do we have got some purple scrap or something I think it was a mill end and I have some stitch studio by Nicole three different colors oh boy down she goes and that's it there's nothing else in here so I have no idea what this was supposed to be so I'm gonna put this aside and once I get through the box if I don't have a clue then those might be going back oh no this bag I like because you can pull out each color to work and I know this blanket is a mitered granny square because I always wanted to make one of those and then I started it and I wanted to do it in neons which is what's in here and there's a second bag that goes with this because I was doing again the grannies in um, an assembly line to help it go faster I just have to find the rest of it my flip flop bag um let's see There's a 5.75 hook. Here's those grannies. All right. So this is a finished mitered granny. And I did a bunch of these. And then the second color, I got that going. So that's what's in this bag is a bunch of the squares. So this is definitely another one that if I sit down and keep going on them, I can get them all up to this point. Another pair of scissors. I used to take this bag to work, that's why. And then the directions. So on my breaks or lunch, I would sit down and work on those squares. So there's that. I mean, I know the squares will go fast, but then you gotta put them all together. So I don't know if this is the best project to do right now 
maybe I'll pick one, either the mitered or the creative grandma one, and make that one of my active whips. And then keep going with my mosaic because the mosaic is my favorite thing to do right now. It's just the sections are huge and you'll see it when I'm able to show it. And they just take a while. I mean, there's just no way around it. And then in my cat bag. Oh, God. So these are the ones that I actually got to the second stage. And there's a lot in here. Keep looking because the cat's crawling around the ledge um yeah I couldn't even tell you right now how many of these are in here like whoa okay so this might not be the go-to right now because there's a lot so the creative grandma one at least I know there's 18 squares and that might be a little more doable all right, um, Holly Hobby bag, sorta. What do we have in here? Mill and White, Fair Isle in the color Wave, and Fair Isle in the color Mykonos. And what else? And that's it. Okay, so took these out for a reason for a project, and I don't know why. All right, so if again I can't find the pattern in the stack of patterns of what I was going to do, that stuff will go back on the shelf. And I will keep everybody up to date when it gets closer of what I ended up deciding. Okay, all right, so here's my book that I keep track of for like my videos and stuff. And I seem to just have loofahs and face scrubby patterns. So those have to go back because I'm not making any of those at the moment. Oh boy, we have a pattern in this one. Hot diggity dog, and look at this sucker, seen better days. All right, what are we doing here? This is going to be an amigurumi. And what did I want to do? Oh, this is like a pound puppy. Remember those back in the day, folks? So, maybe I'll take this one upstairs and work on it. And I say upstairs because my craft room is downstairs now. All right, I won't make a, a lot of rustling, but. So, what colors did I pick? I picked walnut. and a mill end white i decided to go obviously as close to the pattern as i could and there's no hook or anything so i'm gonna have to look up um let's see i do have safety eyes still don't know if they're here or if they're in storage and it has a nose but hmm two millimeter hook Ugh. That's not going to work. 
Maybe that's why I stopped. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. All right, that's it, guys. The box is empty. I feel like I had some other stuff, but this is the one box that I came across right now. So that's it. I uh, want to thank everybody again for hanging around, waiting for me to get my butt back on here. And in the next video, hopefully I can show you my progress on my mosaic and see what I decided to pick up and start working on. All right, guys, please like, subscribe, share if you want to, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.